Hello, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new episode of the FIFA 19 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. This is episode number 178. Uh, and if you missed the last one, we basically unlocked Emre Chan Carnival version. And if you want to see like the silver team that I use and stuff and some tips and tricks on how to unlock him, you can click the top corner up there uh, and check out yesterday's episode. Now today, we've got a couple of things we need to do. We need to finish off getting Ban Arthur. But by doing so, we're, bu we're building a Brazil silver team, a Brasilva squad, uh, and then we're going to bring on a couple of French players as, like, you know, to, to do two objectives at once. Um, because the Brazil squad is going to help us bring home Talisca, Carnival version, uh, and then we're literally one, one French objective away from getting Ben Arthur because we were doing him in the last episode as well. So I decided that I was going to go fairly big with my Brasilva squad. I wanted to buy some of the better ones out there. If we're going to do this, we're going to have fun and we're going to enjoy it. So um, I, I felt like I was going to do it in one session. Ten wins is not going to take that long. Um, so I could buy them, use them, and then sell them for pretty much the same price. So it didn't really matter how expensive they were. Because hopefully the market wouldn't have dropped in time in like three hours for me to, to lose loads of money on them. So I legit went and spent like 7.5k on this player, 5.5k on this player, and, and, and built a fairly expensive team, um, and then knew that I was going to bring on two French players anyway, so when it came to it, I basically had two cam spots left, where I went and bought the cheapest Brazilian cams that I could, because they were going to come off instantly, um, but yeah, we bought like the best centre back, Luis Felipe, who's got 70 pace. We bought another very expensive player. Goalkeepers from Brazil are very expensive, but if you're going to buy them, they're also going to sell, right? So uh, as long as you don't hold on to them for too long, you should be golden. Um, now, if you enjoyed the last episode, and also if you enjoyed this episode, just, you know, seeing something different, unlocking these free players, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that thumbs up on the video. Come on, smash that, uh, smash that like button today. I'd really appreciate that. That'd be amazing. I'm very grateful for your support on this series this year uh, it's definitely been the best road to glory we've ever done so this is my brasilva squad it's got elton it's got romarinho it's got Feliz. uh no luis felipe Feliz. I, i've forgotten his name the, the center back from lazio but lots of good players in there uh and then i was going to bring on Jean and chevalier anyway so i've got two french players to help finish this france objective which we are seven eighths of the way through just one more game needed where we win and score with a frenchman and we're all good so i go into my first online single and we get matched against a full french squad and uh, i reckon and so this guy obviously doesn't know that you can do two objectives at once or is just not bothered about the other players or something but uh, i wouldn't recommend building a full french team just do the Brazil, uh, Brasilva one, do the German one, and bring on a couple of players. And honestly, it'll be just as quick, uh, pretty much anyway, um, for you guys to get the unlocks done. And you are literally getting two at once. So, I score a header with Elton, and the guy played on for a long time. We got to like the 80th, 80th odd minute um, before he quit. But hey, it is what it is. But because we scored one of our goals with a Frenchman, we do complete France in the very first game of the day. So we are now 8 out of 8 completed for France, giving us an 86 rated Ben Arthur for free. Love that. So he's got 84 pace, 89 dribbling, 81 shooting, 82 passing, 5 star skills, 4 star weak foot. I reckon he's a very fun little player, but he does only have 56 stamina, so he's not going to last very long. But maybe if there's a French team or a Ligue 1 team that we need to use going forwards, uh, I've now got a free, skillful, tricky player that I can put into my squad, right? And it'll be a lot of fun. Um, so going to another game, another, Bra uh, another Brazil side, I can see that he's got like Romarinho, uh, Dentinho, he's got the left back that I use. So he's He's obviously got a, a couple of the more expensive players. Uh, and when I come up against that, I'm like, okay, well, maybe this person's going to be good. But I go 1-0 up, uh, which is all good. And then he gets one back. And I'm like, oh, I'm not, not used to this. Pretty much always the one that scores and then they quit and it's all good. Uh, and then actually, he gets another goal um, to go 2-1 up. Um, but he was playing all this time. And then all of a sudden, it's so strange that his connection just goes as soon as he gets in the lead. I absolutely hate this in online singles that people can do some sort of glitch to to, to get the win as soon as they go one nil up. So um, yeah, you not not good. I don't like that at all. Um, shame, 
Shame on you for doing that. So, uh, in my eyes, that's just uh, lame because, you know, I went 1-0 up and was holding the game quite well. I probably could have got back into it and maybe even won. But I didn't get given a chance because someone does some sort of network glitch and gets the win anyway and I get booted out and it's a waste of time. Uh, so, we go into the next one. After wasting a, a FIFA half on that last guy. And we go 1-0 up here. Three minutes on the clock. It's Elton to score the goal. But he wasn't really playing for some reason. So I get another easy goal. Uh, he'd brought on... I don't know whether he'd brought on the wrong players. He brought on like Ebra, Schweinsteiger and Douglas Costa. So he couldn't complete his objective. So I didn't know whether he was just going to be a bit arsy about it. And, and try and let me not get the objective. But actually no. He just quit. I reckon he brought the wrong players on accidentally uh, and that was his problem so he just quit anyway and and i get a nice win um moving on to the next game then another brasilva side he's got elton he's got he's got the expensive uh, midfielder he's got romarinho up front so again a little bit nervous about how this one could go but my romarinho plays it to elton um and Gueba gets through on goal and this is actually the I, I don't know if i pronounced his name right but he's someone which i brought off as a sub so uh, yeah, I, I was surprised that he got a goal before he got subbed off. Genuinely never really touched the ball with them before bringing on the French players. And that guy quits at 1-0. So that, that some people do play it as if it's like first goal wins. And I like that. Uh, it's a good way to save time for everyone. Because like if you lose, you just go into another one. It don't really matter. The odds are you're going to come up against someone that you're better than at some point in time. Um, so... Yeah, just, just don't waste your time on someone that's maybe better than you and scoring more goals than you because it, it literally is that, a waste of time. There's nothing riding on this like there is in the weekend league. So you can play as many games as you like. Um, but we're 2-0 up in this one right here. He decides to stay in the game for a little bit longer and straight from my goal, he gets a lovely finish there with one of his players. Um, Platini, I think his name was. But we pretty much run down the other end straight away and the strength from Rafael, is it Rafael Leal? I, no, I can't remember what his name is. Uh, Raf yeah, Raphael Liao. Um, so I brought him on because I, I only had two Frenchmen to bring on. But Liao as a silver is actually really good. So he doesn't help me in my in my quest. If it's scoring with him doesn't actually help me apart from the fact that, well, it might help me win, which then boosts the Brazilian objective, right? I didn't need, I don't need to score with Frenchmen anymore or anything. So once you get to the point, or if you're just doing it for the Brazilian or for the German and you don't care about the French ones, you can bring on three other silvers that you like. They don't have to be of any nation. And they're not going to help you out anymore apart from if they're really good silvers and you get the, the goals and win the game with them, then you'll just get another win towards your objective for Brazil or for Germany. So, yeah, that's another way that you could go and other Brasilvers, or other Silvers, should I say, that aren't Brazilian, German, or French, uh, a lot of them are a lot cheaper than normal, or a lot cheaper than the Brazilian ones, because they're not actually required, but they can help out in the same way. So next game, we come up against German squad. Uh, it, it, you pretty much come up against, I'd say mainly Brazilian, just because I feel like, um, as Talisca is like the highest rated card, and also looks incredibly good, by the way. I really like the card design and the, the dynamic image and the stats of the card and stuff. I feel like a lot of people want to go for him. And it's like an old school thing that people like to use brass silvers. So uh, if they're going to use any silvers, it's probably the Brazilian ones, right? And I come up against them the most, definitely. Um, but every now and again, you'll, you'll match a German side side and those people are obviously going for Emre Chan. Uh, and then the odd time I came up against a French side for those people that obviously didn't realise how they could, you know, do two things at once. But I think we get to half time here and this guy obviously maybe his rule was that he'll play on to half time and if it's like a two goal disadvantage to him, then he'll quit. But, uh, you know, that's what happened in that one. We move on to the next one and it's another Brazilian side. But you can see there's a lot of non-rares in here. This guy is, is he's he's not fully gone in to spend so i feel like i get that advantage right from the get-go um however he was quite a good player or for the 23 minutes that i got to play against him he was all right i hadn't scored and he went one nil up and then all of a sudden again it's so weird that his connection went and he decides to do some sort of network glitch again um to, to back out, get his free win, uh, and I, I I wasted my time again, which is annoying. So, uh, yeah, shame, shame on you. I don't like that. Uh, and we will move on to the next one. So the next guy then has got himself a, a silver Brazil side once again. But, uh, again, I feel like it's not the most amazing one you could get. When you see, like, a left winger at right back and CDMs at centre back, you're just like... 
Yeah, I've probably got the upper hand here. I've got some of the better ones. I've got some of the more expensive ones. And he'll probably lose just as many coins as I will on the on his cheaper ones as I will on my expensive ones. Because people are still... There's still a demand for these players in the market. Um, there just is. So, yeah, you know, I, 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 don't, I don't quite understand the people. Unless you just don't have the coins to spend, which is fair enough. If you don't have 60k to spend on a squad like this, then... Um, then that's fine. You know, you can use whatever you can afford. But if you've got a spare couple hundred thousand coins like we've got, and you don't mind paying a little bit extra for um, f for the Brazilians, I don't feel like you're going to lose a huge amount of money on them unless you hold on to them for multiple days. You need to do this in like one session or in like a day or so, and, and, and you'll be all right, you know, and you can sell them whilst their market value is at roughly what it was before. And let's face it, even if you lost a maximum of like 20K from your 60K that you spent, you still unlocked like an 86 Emre Chan or an 88 Taliska for like a, a 20k. So I think it's like a good shout anyway. Uh, I go 1-0 up against this guy and he literally passes it straight out to me from a goal kick. And I'm like, yeah, you're probably going to quit, aren't you? So six minutes on the clock. Those really quick fire games are brilliant when your opponent just doesn't want to stay in there. Um, but the bit I don't like is obviously when when they, they don't give you the chance. Like, if you go 1-0 down, you don't get the chance to get back in the match. I don't do the glitch or whatever. I keep playing. And if that guy wants to um, stay in the game as I'm 1-0 up for the entire 90 minutes or as I'm 8-0 up for the 90 minutes, then that's fine. He can do that. Um, it's just wasting a little bit of both of our times. I just don't like the glitch. It's annoying. But this guy goes 2-0 up against me in 16 minutes. Fair enough. You can have the win, mate, you know. If I was to get the next goal, it would have been game on, so we would have played on. However, if if you go 2-0 up, then I'll respect basically these unspoken rules that I will quit and uh, we, will, we will not waste each other's time. Next match we go into, Gene gets barged over in the box. Uh, and we get a penalty, and from that result in penalty, I'm just going to take it with whoever, you know, it doesn't matter, I'm not trying to score with Frenchman anymore, I'm just bringing Gene on because he's great, and he's a Hall of Famer for us now, but I go 1-0 up with the penalty, and um, even from that, we, we get a rage quit, so, yeah, I did. I like the, the, the first goal wins kind of rules, that, that it's nice, but also at that point, I feel like even if I go 1-0 down a lot of the time, I, I think I can get back into it. Even if you just play the kickoff, because kickoff goals are strong, right? We're into this game, this guy goes 1-0 up after three minutes, and all, all of a sudden, once again, it's so weird that the connection goes odd. So any of the games that I've played today, I've typically gone 1-0 up in, and all three of the games that I've gone 1-0 down in, they've all done this disgraceful glitch. Um, so shame on you once again, uh, and we push on into the next one. So I think we only need one more win, right, to get this Talisca. We come up against this guy. Uh, it is another Brazil side. It's a 4-2-4. So I was like, well, if he plays that actually in-game... Uh, I'm going to have a fair bit of space in the middle. He's got a left mid and right back, uh, left mid and right mid at full back. He's got centre forward at centre mid. So his chemistry is not amazing. He's, he's not going to be able to defend with those full backs very well. And we go 1 0 up after five minutes. And I guess, well, he decided he just didn't want to play anymore. So. Um, that's how quick you can do it. If you get the good squad and you intimidate people with your team and you go 1-0 up, a lot of the time people will quit. And that's a, 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 a minimal amount of effort, really, to unlock an 88-rated player for free. And we've got Emre Chan, and we've got Ben Arthur, two 86s. And then on squad battles, of course, we've got Timothy Weyer. So Taliska looks amazing. I, I don't know if I could get him into my team because he's like Chinese Super League. I don't have many players like that that I could link to and stuff. But I feel like he deserves a spot on the bench. Maybe we can bring him on and see how he does. But look at how colourful the club's looking right now. We've brought in four new Carnival players for free this week. Just from playing the game and stuff. And using different types of players. So it's been a lot of fun. Definitely eat my words from from what I said when the, the promo started on Friday night last week where uh, I, I didn't like the idea of playing with Silvers. Genuinely some of the most fun I've had on FIFA 19. Uh, and it was it was just something different. It was super casual. It was super chill. Uh, so yeah, GG's and props to EA for this promo. I'm enjoying it. I'm loving it. We've done the main sort of bit now. The only thing to do is focus on what these daily SBCs are. If anything comes out that looks spicy or that links to some of these players or I can afford to do that I really want to do... Um, then I'll think about it and we'll maybe complete an SBC or two throughout the week. Uh, I was thinking about Benjamin Mendy the other day. 
probably not going to do him just because I'm, uh, I've am i already got a couple of Prem left backs and I don't think he looks like that world beating to be... Yeah, I don't have to have him in my squad. Not going to do company either because I've got better defenders than that. Um, so I'll be a little bit smart about it. I won't just rush into doing SBCs. I'll only do the sort of ones that I really feel like I want um, or I think could improve our squad in an interesting way. So guys, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow their Twitter, their Instagram. Those links are down below. Have a lovely day, everyone, and I'll catch you next time. Peace. <laughs>